ladies and gentlemen, Captain Check here, and welcome back to Space Engineers. I'm doing something I haven't done in some time. I'm actually doing a build spotlight, something that's kind of, it's actually, it's really blown me away. Um, I started, I started this by building my own VTOL aircraft. I'm actually building a cargo vessel for an upcoming episode of a certain series that I shall not name, even though you guys have already been watching it for quite some time. And I wanted to see what some other people came up with. I wanted to see some design ideas. And this was on the front page. And I am so just blasted by how awesome this is. I just wanted to show you guys. So today, we're going to be taking a look at one of Tartarus's builds. He actually has a YouTube channel where he spotlights his builds as he does them. And I'll put a link in the description below. We're going to be taking a look at the uh, the Caligo. Now, this is his... Uh, his workshop page right here, but we're actually gonna take a flight in it. So let's, I'll give you the tour, because not only does he do the build, but he does it as an entire, like, experience for you to download the maps. You can see behind me this, um, basic guide on how to get started. You spawn from right over here. Let me pop back into first person. You spawn right here. The first thing you're gonna see is this sweet guide on what to do and where to go. But it's so user-friendly, like, here we go. We're gonna go check out his, his VTOL Strike Fighter. And there she is. You walk through the doorway. We're in an underground bunker, like you saw in the intro, built into the ice, which is a really nice touch. Um, one thing I will say is, it has a ton of mods on it. It is, oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful vessel. It's got a ton of mods, though. So I'm gonna warn you right now, if you don't have a fast internet connection, it's gonna take you a, a ton of time. It took me forever to download this map and then get it to load up just because there's so much going on. But it's a great way to see what each one of these mods do. Yes, this is a Grendel. This thing is armed to the teeth. But let's check it out. So there's no actual ramp up here. You're going to have to use your jetpack. Uh, at least I didn't I didn't see one. I'd like to see like an aircraft ramp up here just because everything else is, I don't know, it's just so well done. Look at this cockpit, right? I have never used this cockpit before. And wait till you see what it does when it shuts. It's a really cool animation. Uh, let's get to the sweet spot so we can get in. He's got some heads up display there with the VTOL lock on. On the left hand side he has guide on what each one of the buttons do, which is a nice, I like, I think I'm gonna take this. Anytime I put a, a, a video up, uh, or a video, a uh, vehicle up now, I want a screen inside the vehicle that tells everybody, including me, because I forget, what all my buttons do. So we've got number one, open and close cockpit. Let's go ahead and do that. And when we get out, of the base, I love how it folds. I'll actually show that in third person so you can see how that um, cockpit works. And I need to find out what the name of this one is because he's got some really cool stuff like this head up display. I'm not sure what mod that is, but I think it actually changes based on the mode we're in. Like we can change it. Let's go ahead and, and get up above ground though and then we'll, we'll, we'll mess with it. So we're gonna hit K. We're gonna go to um, Calico base station. We're gonna use the armored gate. Open the gate. The gate above me is now opening. We get some nice sunlight in here. Beautiful. And then we're gonna use the ramp. So we'll go back into base station. We're gonna use the lift. Got like a, an aircraft carrier's lift system going on here. This is something that I love doing in my bases as well, is having my aircraft being lifted out of the base from inside the armored bunker or inside the actual building. Very cool. Uh, for me though, I like making it flat. He's actually got it, um, and it like comes up to the ramp without going over. But anywho, let's switch over to third person spectator cam and let's take a look at let's say f7 so we can find it all right it's this way there we go at the aircraft itself so like i said this is a vtol aircraft and it's got two modes flight mode and then vtol vertical takeoff and landing mode now what's really cool about it though is right now we're in vtol mode you see those like wing things sticking out the back well if i switch over to uh flight mode jet mode which i think is two they actually fold up letting you know that you're now in flight mode. And they just deploy. Yeah, it's got the door sound to it, which is kind of funky, but at least it's something. And then here's the cockpit that I was talking about. This cockpit is so crazy looking. Here we go. It folds open and allows you to get out. And there's been some really cool cockpits coming out for Space Engineers. I don't know what the name of this one is. If any of you guys know off the top of your head, please let me know, leave it in the comments below. Or I can just look through the mod list. I'll probably put it in the description, but yeah, it's just so good. And then the interior has the built-in LCD panels, which we can actually get over my shoulder and take a look at. I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm fanning out about this mod. It's, it's just, it's really cool. You even got a keyboard down there, which is actually lettered, I mean, the detail is pretty damn good. I think this suit too, this is not my first choice for suits, but it goes with the fighter. 
Anywho, let's run through the control options and see what we've got so we can take off. I'll hit F6 to go back into first person mode and see what other uh, displays we've got. So left hand side, we did one, which is open and close the cockpit, which I'll just do again because it's fun. Hand close. There she goes. Two to switch between VTOL and jet mode. We're in VTOL mode right now. Let's go to jet mode. And it actually switches on the heads up display over to jet. Now, I want to know more about that mod because I've not seen that before. That is really, really cool. Okay, I wonder if the altitude indicator, the um, artificial horizon actually works. We'll see when we take off. I have not flown this yet. Now, what else do we got here? Uh, we are in, or in jet mode. Let's go back to VTOL mode because we're going to take off in a second. Uh, we can deactivate our weapon system with three. I believe we're already offline. It even tells us at the bottom there, VTOL thrusters are on, weapon systems are on, weapon systems are now off. And it drops down to the bottom next to the beacon, which is also off. Broadcast systems are uh, online. That's cool. And we turn those other systems on and off, and then we've got countermeasures. Choose missile salve. Missile salvo? Oh, between choose Grendel and choose missile salvo, which is, yeah, okay, those are our two weapon systems. So there are three weapon systems on board that I'm aware of so far. We have, and I believe that's an ammo counter over there. Yeah, there's our ammo counter over on the bottom right-hand side of that screen. The weapon systems are two Grendels up front. Let's just go into third person and we'll show them. These monstrous miniguns, um, I've always thought they were a little bit OP, but I think they're supposed to be because they are like the end-all be-all of anti-fighter support, right? You stick these in the front, you build your aircraft around them is what I think. I mean, we're talking A-10 Warthog style. So, there you go, there's the Grendels. You've got your rocket pods. These are quad rocket barrels. These are not modded. I believe these are just um, set on a timer block or something so they shoot in a certain order. I'm gonna have to look at that though, I could be wrong. So she's got eight rocket pods. Ground strike aircraft, definitely. Uh, capable of dogfighting with these Grendels? Yeah, most likely. Hell, you could probably ground strike with just these bad boys. And then the third weapon type, I really do dig. Actually, it's four now that I see it, but one's a countermeasure. The third weapon type is the small turret on the back, which can be operated through this cockpit right here by a gunner or use the AI to do it. Pretty sweet. If we come down here, we've got countermeasures. Oh, man, now, if I remember correctly, what are these? These are... I know they're like anti-missile countermeasures that mayflies? Are they mayflies? I think they're mayflies. Anyways, you slap these suckers on, tell them to shoot down enemy missiles, and they'll gun them down. Um, kind of like an aircraft carrier's anti-missile defense system. Pretty pretty badass. All right, got a connector on the bottom, probably charge up your battery, so I think she runs off of some high-end reactors. I mean, you can see a couple gyros there. Uh, oxygen generators. Interesting. A lot of mods going on here. I mean, hell, most of the blocks look like they're modded. And we're using the aviation mod, so we're going to have lift. Oops, I just whacked my microphone with my hat. Uh, we're going to have lift built from forward momentum using the aviation mod that I think is a must-have if you're going to play Space Engineers on a planet. Use that. All right, let's take off. Let's see how she flies. So VTOL mode, we're gonna actually going to do this in third person. And we're going to hit F9 to take direct control of the aircraft. And we're going to use a little bit of that downward thrust. We're in VTOL mode. We're gonna hit space bar, and she's got a lot of thrust. We're off the ground, there we go. Now we're gonna get a lot of altitude here because I don't know how much forward thrust she has, and she's gonna drop like a rock when we switch between VTOL to, of course, jet mode, and we need that forward momentum to get the lift. Like, look at that, I just let go of the space bar. So, let's go ahead and switch over to, which button was it? It was two. Switch over to jet mode and gun it. A little bit more altitude, 113 meters is, I don't, wouldn't call that safe. Not until I've flown her, at least. All right, switch to the jet mode. Jet mode online. And she's going. She's got good acceleration. We're already at max speed. Not too shabby at 45% power usage. She's definitely using, um, I'm guessing, some high-end reactors. I'm not sure what she's using. We could look it up in just a second, but oh, yeah. Now I kind of wish I would have installed a, uh, a speed mod just to see how much acceleration she has. So let's go ahead and kill it. And let's stall it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip her over and change directions. Oh man, she's already changed directions and started accelerating the other way, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. So let's drop it this way. All right, we've completely switched around. We have zero lift right now. We're gonna gun it. We went from 70 meters a second going the opposite direction, already to 50 going forward, and max speed. Sweet, yeah. Oh, and I love these engines. I'm gonna have to look at the mod list on this one. One of the coolest things about this build is just checking out all the mods that I've never used before. Like these these crazy atmospheric thrusters that've got like fuel in, fuel intakes, or I don't know what those pipes are probably for. They're probably for uh, piping fresh air from the front of the aircraft into the exhaust for a reburn. Ah, oh, man. 
If you're wondering why I go into detail about the engines, um, I worked on F-16 engines with U.S. Air Force, and it's kind of an interest for me. On, and like speculating on what the mod pieces are supposed to be. I know it's totally fictional, but I don't know, it's kind of fun. Let's do a weapons test though. We've got Grindles and we've got Rocket Pods. It looks like we're gonna direct fire both of these. They're not on timer blocks, I was wrong. We've switched to the Grendels. We're gonna target the, oh, you know what? We didn't put some targets out. You know what? I'm gonna cut here and add a couple of ground targets for us. I feel like this is a ground strike fighter because of how big she is. I don't think she's all that maneuverable if we were doing like, say, intercepting. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna switch to VTOL mode, put her in hover mode. VTOL mode online, inertial dampeners on. Did you have enough to, yep, enough to level out, perfect. So we're gonna sit here for a second while I bring us some targets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I tried to do my first attempt at taking out the targets, the mining geared equipment and the brown truck, and had some issues. Basically, the map, if you do download it, has the block damage turned off automatically. Yeah, makes it real hard to damage anything. <laughs> If block damage is turned off. So, our target should be already down there. There they are. We've got the brown truck from the survival series and two of the mining vessels. We're gonna go ahead and bring it in now and engage. Now, it's three to turn on your weapon systems, and my weapon systems are currently uh, online. Good to go. We're in jet mode, and we should have the Grendel selected. So, here we go. We're beginning our attack run. Dun, 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 we're doing this by a visual. There she is. We're gonna go after the brown truck first. I'm lining up the red X. I love that that's actually a thing. Looks like I gotta go a little bit lower. And there's our first run that was with the Grendels. Now, let's use, we're, we're gonna look at what the damage is on that, but first we're gonna come back in and we're gonna do a run with the eight rocket launchers. See how she goes and how well that red X is actually lined up. So, there's our target. Eight, all set in succession with timer blocks. Firing, we're a little low, another blast. And we totally missed the target. I think we missed both targets. Let's give that another go and this time come in from a little bit higher. Or actually, we could do like a, a deck run. Let's try it. We're gonna flip under, we got enough acceleration. We're gonna start firing a little bit earlier once we get that forward momentum and we start doing the slide. There we go, opening up. Oh yeah, I gotta aim way higher. Oh, that's a good hit. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, I almost, I almost, oof. I almost ran right into the ground and into the target. All right, so we're gonna go out a little bit farther this time. And I think switch to the Grendels again. So Grendels were four, and give it one more run, and then we'll see what kind of damage that we've done. So here we go, lining up the shot. Gonna go ahead and give it a full burst on this target. Oh, ate it. Oh, look, the mining drill just flew off. Yes, let's see if we can switch over to third person. Oh, it's totally not gonna let me do it for some reason. Strange. All right, let's flip it around, see how quickly we can land it on the ground in VTOL mode as we come in. So we're gonna full burn in. I'm just gonna give this one a little bit of a burst. VTOL mode active. Oh, look how she just stops. She just dead stops if the inertial dampeners are off. All right, I can't go into third person for some reason right now. I think it has something to do with the cockpit. What if we open the the bay? There we go. If we open the... Um... Oh, was it open the whole time? That's why that looked weird. Okay, and why it wouldn't let me do third person? Probably because the cockpit was there. Very strange. It seems like the cockpit resets if you quit. Look at those thrusts on the bottom. Those thrusters are huge. All right, let's bring her down. Let's see the kind of damage that we've caused. She is super stable. I mean, these engines are really, really strong. Bringing it down, shutting down. Actually, turn back on. Let's open the bay door. All right, hatch door is open. Shut her down. Pop out. See what kind of damage we did. Now, the brown truck was hit with nothing but uh, the Gatlings and maybe a little bit of rocket damage when I missed that first run. Oh, I, that's all Grendel right there. Yeah. Ripped it in half. You can see where the light armor, it just gets pierced. It just got pierced completely. Can't, can't handle it. Can't handle the Grendel rounds at all. The rocket rounds, I know for a fact, where's the one that we blew off? We blew off the mining drill on one of these. This one still has its mining drill amazingly, but uh, the rest of it, like the entire back end is missing. I, I do find it hilarious that the mining drill stayed on there. This one though, I know we blew off the mining drill because it went flying. It's been, it's, it's seen better days. It's definitely seen better days. Beautiful. 
All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap up this spotlight for community build. I really dig this VTOL aircraft. It makes me wonder about like how much thrust the hydra, the uh, the, um, the atmospheric thrusters actually put out. It might be worth it for us to add a couple of modded thrusters, like whatever he's using here, or something that puts out just more thrust. Because what we've got right now going on, just, I don't know, it's not putting out enough to make them fun to fly. The, like the prop mod though, the prop mod seems to do really well. Like I guess this is using normal thrusters. I wonder if they've been modified at all. Hmm. Oh, I love these though. These are so good. I wonder if they're, they've got build states. Now I'm totally distracted. I, I gotta know, do these have build states and what are they called? This is the problem with having too many mods on your server or your save because I just hit G and we're waiting for the G menu to open now because there's so much stuff installed. Tools, we're gonna do a lead grinder real quick. And what is this? So this is the atmospheric jet engine. That's all it says, okay. And it, does it have build states? No, it does not have build states. Whoa, okay, that was interesting. You break an atmospheric engine and it like depressurizes. Let's try that again. Yeah, look at that. Oh, the frame rate is gone and it throws me backwards. That's really weird. And there's no build states. So we couldn't use those on the server. We gotta have build states. Anyways, there's the ship, everybody. It's really, really cool. Uh, if you've got a recommendation for one you want me to check out, what is going on over there? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see some more VTOL aircraft to help me design my current transport. Is this what we do now? Oh, it's because I've got gyros on it, but the gyros are all shut down because there's no power. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is Space Engineers. Welcome to Pistons and Space Engineers. Whee! <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Oh, shit! Subscribe to the channel for more money and gaming goodness, especially sci-fi gaming goodness, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go before I take a drill to the face. I think it's haunted coming at me. Like... Don't come over here. I don't want I don't want none of that. This is when we see the drill. That's natural environment. Frolicking in the fields. <laughs> Ugh. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope.